Referring to the previous chapter, it is predicted that One Piece 1059 will discuss more about Monkey D. Dragon, Sabo, and the movement of the Revolutionary Army. At the end of chapter 1058 yesterday, One Piece fans were shown that Sabo contacted Koala and the Revolutionary Army who were on Kamabaka Island. Interestingly, it seems the Revolutionary Army's Den Den Mushy connection has been tapped by the Navy. So, how did the Revolutionary Army move after Sabo told Monkey D. Dragon the truth about what happened at Mary Joy's? But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. Earlier, we saw Sabo manage to sneak into Mary Joy's. The goal of Sabo and some of the Revolutionary Army crew into Mary Joy's is to free Bartholomew Kuma. As you know, Bartholomew Kuma is a double agent. Previously, Bartholomew Kuma was one of the seven warlords, but he was also a member of the Revolutionary Army. In short, Bartholomew Kuma was one of the people who trained Sabo to become as strong as he is now, so it's only natural that Sabo doesn't accept the world government's treatment of Bartholomew Kuma who made him a slave. At that time, Sabo and the Revolutionary Army managed to bring Bartholomew Kuma from Mary Joyce. Although they were blocked by two admirals at once, not only that, other speculations say that Sabo also managed to save Nefertari Vivi, daughter of the Kingdom of Alabasta, who at the same time had to accept the fact that her father, King Nefertari Cobra, was killed. This information is what Sabo wants to convey to Monkey D. Dragon, as well as break the bad assumption about him that has spread all over the world. Because, the circulating issue was disclosed in a newspaper published by the Morgan's News Agency, that Sabo was the one who had killed Nefertari Cobra. In fact, Nefertari Cobra was killed by one of the world government's accomplices. As you know, the Gorosei don't like the Nefertari family and think of them as traitors, because it seems Nefertari Cobra knows some information about the Void Century. Besides that, the Gorosei have plans to clean up. Now this is related to the stability of the world government. This fact is what triggers Monkey D. Dragon's anger towards the world government. It is common knowledge that any manipulative news spread by the Morgan's news agency, there must be Gorosei interference, like they did when they complained about Luffy's latest wanted poster. Then, if you see Monkey D. Dragon's reaction at the end of the chapter 1058 panel, which even wants to kill Sabo if it is proven that Nefertari Cobra was killed by him, it indicates that Monkey D. Dragon has a special connection with Nefertari Cobra and the Kingdom of Alabaster. It's interesting to wait, is it true that Monkey D. Dragon will attack the world government for killing Nefertari Cobra and slandering Sabo? Whether it's true or not will be revealed in One Piece 1059 or the next chapters.